Investigators say corrupt contractors imposed a so-called mob tax and employed main members of the Lucchese crime family as no-show, no-work employees. A no-show job means that the employee doesn't have to appear on site but gets paid anyway. And no work means that the employee doesn't necessarily have to do any work but gets paid anyway. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at mobster Matthew Madonna who was a reputed Lucchese crime family captain and acting boss. Matthew Madonna was born on November 2, 1935, in Selden, New York. During his teenage years, Madonna worked for Tommy Lucchese and Stefano LaSalle by running errands. He also sold heroin on the side to earn extra money, which was before Carlo Gambino established his no-drug-dealing policy in 1957. Unfortunately, Madonna was arrested in his early 20s for serious drug offenses and served time at the Green Haven Correctional Facility in upstate New York by the late 1950s. While in jail, he met Nikki Barnes, a young drug dealer from Harlem. After their release, Madonna began supplying large amounts of heroin to Barnes. Madonna would leave a car with a trunk full of heroin at a Manhattan parking lot for Barnes to retrieve later and trade for cash. A few days later, Madonna would return to collect the car with the money. Madonna and Barnes continued this arrangement until 1975 when Madonna was arrested for drug trafficking. He was then sentenced to 30 years in federal prison on December 21, 1976. Although Madonna was affiliated with the Lucchese family for many years, he never acknowledged any ties to the mafia while in prison. However, the Lucchese family acknowledged Madonna's loyalty to Omerta, and he was inducted into the Lucchese crime family around 1998. It didn't take long for Madonna to become a skip. By 2000 Madonna was promoted to captain in the Lucchese family. But Madonna was sent to prison again but released on September 22, 2003. The Lucchese were not having a good year with multiple members being taken off the streets by the feds. After the convictions of family leader Stephen Cree, Louis Daydon, Dominic Truscello and the cooperation of former acting boss Joseph DeFeta, the Lucchese's established a three-man ruling panel to govern the family. Madonna, along with Aniello Migliore and Joseph DiNapoli headed the panel. Madonna, along with 32 other members and associates of the Lucchese family, was arrested by New Jersey law enforcement on December 18, 2007. This was a result of a year-long investigation called Operation Heat, which uncovered a $2.2 billion illegal gambling, money laundering, and racketeering scheme. The illegal activity involved collecting bets on sports such as basketball, football, greyhound races, and the lottery. The bets were collected from gamblers over the internet and phone from a location in Costa Rica, with assistance from Joseph Moncino, a high-ranking member of the Gambino crime family. Joseph DiNapoli, a ruling panel member, and top New Jersey faction Capos Ralph V. Perna and Nico Demo Scarfo Jr. were also indicted in May 2010. Madonna was released on bail while waiting for trial. Attorney General Paula Dow stated that the Lucchese crime family used sophisticated measures such as electronic record-keeping and offshore wire rooms to avoid detection by law enforcement. The investigation also revealed connections between the Lucchese crime family and the Bloods gang. According to the indictment, high-ranking Nine Trey Gangsters member Edwin Spears, 36, of Neptune, worked with former corrections officer Michael Bruinton, 46, of Ringo's to smuggle drugs and cell phones into East Jersey State Prison in Woodbridge. Madonna was an employee of Big Geyser Incorporated, New York's largest distributor of health beverages. It was speculated that this was a no-show job for Madonna. After the ruling panel was disbanded in 2009, Matthew Madonna took over as acting boss and Joseph DiNapoli became the new consigliere. In late 2009, the parole restrictions expired on longtime underboss Stephen Cree and he was able to rejoin the family's leadership again. In a large racketeering scheme, Madonna was indicted on October 1, 2009, along with Joseph DiNapoli and 27 others. According to the indictment, Madonna played a crucial role in a vast operation that generated around $400 million from illegal activities such as gambling, loan sharking, gun trafficking, and extortion. Another part of the indictment charged Madonna and other Lucchese mobsters with running a bribery scheme involving New York City building inspectors. On June 28, 2010, Madonna and the other defendants pleaded not guilty to all charges. Madonna was granted bail, and the trial was postponed. In 2013, Madonna, along with John Castellucci, conducted a secret initiation ceremony for John Panisi in a basement of a home in Staten Island. According to John Panisi's testimony, 
he was initiated into the Lucchese family during a secret ceremony on Staten Island in 2013. The ceremony was presided over by Maddie Madonna, who was the acting boss of the family. Panisi described the ceremony taking place in a dark basement, where he sat in front of a table that contained various items, including a gun, a knife, a picture of a saint, an ashtray, a lighter, and a diabetic pin. Madonna asked him a question about his trigger finger, and then Castellucci poked his finger with the pin. Panisi said that they poured blood drops onto the saint, lit it on fire, and asked him to move the paper of the saint back and forth in his hands while repeating after them. Madonna warned Panisi that if he betrayed any member of the family, his soul would burn like the saint. However, Panisi did not disclose where on Staten Island the ritual occurred. Panisi testified for weeks in Manhattan Federal Court regarding the family's migration from Brooklyn to Staten Island, where they established a stronghold. During the trial of family soldier Eugene Castell, Panisi explained that crews of around seven or eight people were spread throughout New York City, with each crew run by a captain. Although they were located in Staten Island, Panisi clarified that they were still considered part of the Brooklyn faction of the Lucchese family. He also revealed that he had been living on Long Island at the time but traveled to Staten Island for family business. While he did not specify the exact location of the crew's operations, it was reported that they were mainly based in Tottenville. Panisi began cooperating with the FBI in October 2018 after walking into their office to report crimes he had committed and has since provided information on the inner workings of the Mafia family. Panisi also described how the Lucchese family used their connections to infiltrate and profit from legitimate businesses, including the construction industry. He testified about how the family would use intimidation tactics and threats of violence to control contractors, making them pay for protection, and extorting them for additional money or labor. He also discussed the family's use of violence, including beatings, stabbings, and murder, to maintain their control and enforce their rules. Panisi testified about his own role in some of these acts, including his involvement in an assault on a fellow Lucchese family member who had disrespected a captain. Panisi's testimony shed light on the inner workings of the Lucchese family and their operations in Staten Island and beyond. It provided prosecutors with valuable evidence that helped secure convictions against several members of the family, including Castell. The trial highlighted the ongoing efforts of law enforcement to dismantle organized crime syndicates and disrupt their criminal activities. It also underscored the importance of cooperation from insiders like Panisi, who are willing to come forward and provide information about the criminal underworld. The federal authorities have taken strong action against the Lucchese family in recent times. In 2017, a massive bust was carried out, resulting in the charging of Madonna and Castellucci. Madonna, who was 81 years old at the time, is accused of ordering the murder of Michael Meldish, the leader of the ruthless East Harlem Purple Gang. Castellucci, who was 57 years old at the time of the bust, is also facing multiple charges. Matthew Madonna, Stephen Wonderboy Cree, Christopher Londonio and Terence Caldwell were convicted in White Plains Federal Court of carrying out the 2013 murder. Meldish's crew once did dirty work for the Lucchese, Genovese and Bonanno crime families. Meldish's Purple Gang once controlled the drug trade in the Bronx and Harlem. Authorities suspected his brother and longtime partner in crime, Joseph Meldish, was responsible for as many as 70 contract killings. But during the trial it was revealed that Michael Meldish made the fatal mistake of refusing to pay a gambling debt owed to Madonna, who was then the acting boss of the Lucchese family. Madonna ordered Meldish be taken out. Cree, the underboss, helped Madonna make the decision and sent the order out. They gave the hit to Christopher Londonio, a made member of the family. It was easy for Londonio to set up Meldish because they were close friend. Terence Caldwell, a mob associate, was also part of the hit and it was Caldwell who fired the fatal shot and fled the scene in a car driven by Londonio. Meldish was found November 15, 2013, dead from a bullet fired to his head in a car parked in Throg's neck. In 2017, it was disclosed that Vic Amuso, who was serving a life sentence in prison, wrote a letter to underboss Stephen Cree instructing him to appoint Michael DeSantis as the new acting boss, replacing Madonna who was based in the Bronx. Amuso threatened to have members of the Bronx faction killed if his orders were not obeyed. Madonna and Cree both resigned and DeSantis assumed the position of acting boss in compliance with Amuso's directives. On July 27, 2020, Madonna was sentenced to life in prison for the Meldish murder, along with London EO and Caldwell. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more character breakdowns and analysis of your favorite gangsters. See you in the next one.